Puerto Rican Historical Facts Part 3 The 1931 Injecting Puerto Ricans with Cancer And now let's go straight into the slide. Here we can see a man called Dr. Cornelius Rhodes, a killer who later received the Legion of Merit Award in 1945 and was featured on the cover of Time magazine in 1949. He says, I can get a damn fine job here and am tempted to take it. It would be ideal for the Puerto Ricans. They are beyond doubt the dirtiest, laziest, most degenerate and thievish race of men ever to inhabit this sphere. It makes you sick to inhabit the same island with them. They are even lower than the Italians. What the island needs is not public health work, but a tidal wave or something to totally exterminate the entire population. It might then be livable. I have done my best to further the process of their extermination by killing off eight and transplanting cancer into several more. All physicians take delight in the abuse and torture of the unfortunate subjects. November 10, 1931. An American doctor with a research laboratory in San Juan, Prebristerian Hospital wrote this letter to his friend while he was drunk. The San Juan District Attorney's investigation confirmed that eight cancer patients had indeed died in Rhodes' care. This letter confirmed evidence of systematic racism in Puerto Rico. Pedro Alviso Campos tried to share the letter everywhere like the ACLU, the Vatican, League of Nations, and more. The doctor then went to receive awards for his actions. Whitewash media tried to cover this scandal to protect Rhodes, the army, and Rockefeller's interests. At Freedom for Puerto Rico. It is totally clear that this is racism against the Puerto Ricans. I can remember the people commenting about this, that they specifically did this to Pedro Albizu Campos and our people, other Puerto Ricans. And who knows if they still do this. People who know of this keep this memory in painful silence, apart from understanding that they are victims of these said atrocities. We can also assume they are also victims of experiments and tests. It's an agglomeration of horrendous, inhumane acts. We all know that we share the same feelings onto this, especially as Boricuas. So not much else needs to be said. This one is a true, 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 Blood Boiler, just like part 2 of this series. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Abaketone Borike, and I'll see you on the next video.